Hi there, I'm Farika, and we're glad to know that you're interested in one of our programs here at Tilburg University. This is an instructional video about our online application system. So for those with a non-Dutch educational background, this is an important video for you. First, there's StudyLink, the Dutch national registration system for higher education. To start your application, you will first need to register in StudyLink. Then there's OSIRIS, which is a main information system here at Tilburg University with different modules. OSIRIS and MELS is the application system necessary to upload all your application documents. Then there is OSIRIS Student, which is only necessary once you've been admitted, where you can continue or complete your enrollment and also register for courses or even review your grades. Please check the admissions and application webpage of your desired program to get further details about the required documents. Once you've gathered all the necessary documents, you'll need to register in StudyLink. This is a rather simple process. It's good to know that you can select one of the three languages, Dutch, German, and English. For the sake of this video, we'll opt for English. Once you've selected your preferred language, you'll see that you have two login options, login with Digiday and login without Digiday. Digiday stands for digital identity. To login with Digiday, you will need to be living in the Netherlands. For those who do not live in the Netherlands, you will then need to select the login without Digiday option. Also, if this is your first time registering in StudyLink, you'll need to create an account. It's simple. Just click on the create StudyLink account without Digiday option. For EU members, there's a straightforward way to create a StudyLink account. You can simply use your country's national authentication system by clicking on Login with EIDAS. Do note, not all countries are listed yet. However, more will be added throughout the year. If EIDAS is not available in your country or you're residing outside of the European Union, you will then need to verify your identity in another way when creating a StudyLink account. You can do this by uploading a scan or photo of your ID, for example, your passport or European identity card. The tool will read this digital copy of your ID and verify its legitimacy and completeness. If you hold two nationalities, you will have to select one. In the event that one of your nationalities is European, it is best to upload your European passport or identity card because it will be used for the calculation of your tuition fees. After this check has been successfully completed and your identity has been verified, you can proceed with creating your account. Here's an important point when creating an account. Use an email address that you have access to for duration of your studies here at Tilburg University in order to not miss any important information. Thus, the best tip here is to avoid using an email address from your previous school or university. Once you finish creating your account, you will receive an activation email. Once activated, you can start the actual registration. You will then start by adding your previous education. If you've not obtained your diploma, please select the No Not Yet option and fill each field that proceeds in completely. It's very important that you add all your previous secondary and higher education study programs, whether you've completed it or not. Failure to do so will result in you not receiving the email with the logging details and the link to our application system. We will now proceed with choosing a study program. You will select the Add New Enrollment Application button. You will then fill Tilburg University as your educational institution, WO Bachelor if you're interested in a bachelor degree, or for those interested in a master, please do select WO Master. For the sake of this video, we'll select WO Bachelor. Once you've filled in educational institution and degree type, you can then fill in your program of choice. The exact name can be found on the admissions and applications section of your desired program webpage. In this case, we have chosen global law. Once you've found the program of choice, click select. Under the tab study program details, you can fill in your preferred type of enrollment. Here, you will need to select student. On the tab institutional questions, you'll need to answer an array of questions. Once you've answered all the questions, you'll need to ensure you did so correctly. Once you've done such, click Confirm. 
It is good to know that you can only have four active applications per academic year in StudioLink, of which two can be for numerous fixes programs. At the moment, Tilburg University only offer one numerous fixes program, which is the bachelor degree in psychology. Now that you've completed your StudioLink registration, within 48 hours, you will receive two emails, one from the library and ID services with your student number and Tilburg University email address. This will be very handy for you to complete your enrollment. However, it's not necessary for your application. The second email, however, will be very useful for your application as it has all the login details for our application system called Osiris AdMelt. Once you've clicked on the link in your email with the login details, you'll see that screen. You can then select your preferred language. In this case, I'll opt for English. Then you will need to fill in your username and password. Do note, however, that when you log in for the first time, you'll be asked to change your password. In the case that you have lost or forgotten your password, you can simply request for a new one by selecting the change username password forgotten option. Now that we're logged in, you'll see a summary of all the programs that you have registered for at Tilburg University. This includes the application status, the progress you've made in your application, and once you've submitted your application, you'll find the decision made by the admissions committee here as well. When you're ready, do click Start Change Application Process. On the screen, you'll see all your personal details. This has automatically been transferred from CityLink. So if you'd like to make any changes to this information, please head over to CityLink to do so. If all this information is correct, you can then click on continue. On the top of this page, you'll find the different tabs as it relates to the steps you'll need to take before submitting your application. We will start with the tab identification. Here, you will need to upload a copy of your passport or ID card. Please note that your passport should be valid for at least six months after the start of your studies here at Tilburg University. Once you've finalized all your details, click continue. And by clicking continue, you will automatically save what you have done thus far. In the educational background step, you will need to fill in your higher education. You will first start by providing the type of higher education, which in most cases is a bachelor degree followed by an array of information covering name and country of higher education institution and expected date of graduation. In case you may have not been awarded your diploma, you can select that option in a dropdown. Also, be aware that you must provide the admissions committee with your diploma before starting your studies here at Tilburg University. After completing the diploma related questions, you will be asked to upload your transcripts. And in some cases, you may need to provide us with a diploma statement. This is simply a confirmation from your university that you are a current student there. Also, it should contain your expected date of graduation. This is a good moment to mention that all files uploaded should not exceed 10 MB and must be in PDF format. Finally, for those who may need to add any additional higher education, you can do so by selecting yes in the dropdown. If not, select no, which is what we will do now. Once you finalize all your details, click continue, or you can click on save to continue your application at a later time. For the third step, you may need to provide us with your English proficiency test certification. To know whether you can be exempted from such, please refer to the English requirement page on our website. You will first need to select the language of instruction, which will most likely be English. Do note it is mandatory to have your English proficiency test scores and certificate at the time of application. If you do not have them as yet, unfortunately, the admissions committee will not be able to process your application. Unless you're exempted from taking an English test, then you can offer the exempt from this requirement option. A drop down will appear where you will need to select the reason for your exemption. If you're applying to one of our programs in the field of economics and management, you're then required to provide us with your GMAT or GRE scores. In this next step, you'll need to upload all the documents stipulated in your application package. Do know that the required documents vary per program. In this specific example, a CV, course description, among others, are needed. Please check the admissions and application webpage of your desired program to get further details about the required documents. Once you've uploaded all necessary documents, you can click continue. Here, we'll have the option to add any additional documents to your application. 
Do note that your admissions will be based on the required documents, which are specified on the admissions and application webpage of your desired program. In this case, we do not need any additional documents, so you can proceed to the next step. The service step is only relevant if you had an assistance of an agent throughout your application process. If this is not the case, you can select no. Now that you've uploaded all required documents in PDF formats, you can review your application to ensure you went through the steps correctly and that you're not missing any relevant documents. Before you submit your application, here are some points you need to keep in mind. Ensure that you submit your application before the deadline. The deadline can be found on the admissions and application webpage of the program you're applying to. If you need to make changes to your application, you can only do so if you have not submitted your application. Once submitted, changes are no longer possible. In case you need to change a key part of your application, you will then need to contact your international admissions coordinator. You can find their details by simply searching international admissions coordinator on our website. Once you've checked everything, you're then ready to submit your application. You'll receive an email confirming its receipt. You can always log back into the online application system to check the status and progress of your application. By clicking on the progress option, you can get more information about your application. You'll be able to see at what stage in the application process you're in, for example, whether your application has been marked as complete or your diploma has been evaluated already. When a decision has been made, you'll be informed by email, but you will also be able to find the decision here. You can expect this decision from the admissions committee in approximately four to six weeks. It's possible that your international admissions coordinator will need new documents from you. If that's the case, you will be contacted by email. You will then need to log back into Cyrus AML to make the requested changes. This means the processing of your application will take longer than four to six weeks which is why you should always double check your application before submitting. Now that we've guided you through the steps, we wish you much success with your application. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it'll be very useful for your application. If you're interested in studying until work, then do check out the following videos.